One winter day, with the cold wind cutting through the air, I met a sanitation worker, a humble and tired man, sitting on the side of the road. The scene was striking. He was holding, with his rough, weather-beaten hands, a small puppy that was shivering from the cold. The contrast between the puppy's fragility and the roughness of the hands that held it was obvious, but what touched me most was the sincere concern and despair in the worker's eyes. He approached me with a simple gesture, but one that carried great hope. He handed me 10 yuan, asking me to save the puppy, as if that money represented the little animal's only chance at life. The story he told was moving and tragic. The night before, he had found three abandoned puppies in a trash can. Unable to remain indifferent to the animal's suffering, he rescued them from the darkness and cold. However, fate was cruel. Two of the puppies did not survive. Only the little one, whom he was now holding so tenderly, had survived. His family, no matter how much he tried to convince them, was not willing to take the puppy in, and he, with no other alternative, spent the entire night looking for someone who could take care of him. No one, however, was willing to accept such a responsibility, and he knew that, with the intense cold, the puppy would not survive much longer. The man's story touched me deeply. He, who did not have many resources, was willing to give what was most precious to him at that moment, his trust. The gesture of offering me the little money he had was not only an offer of financial help, but a representation of his faith that I could give the puppy a chance to survive. When I accepted the mission of taking care of the puppy, I felt a great responsibility on my shoulders. Upon hearing my promise to take good care of the puppy, the worker smiled, a tired but genuine smile, and I knew I could not let him down. The puppy was in critical condition. Small, fragile, and scared, he could barely eat. When I got home, I tried to introduce him to my dog, who was nursing her litter. I hoped that she would adopt him and care for him as if he were her own child. However, for the first few days, the dog resisted the presence of the new puppy. Her maternal instinct had not yet awakened in him, and this worried me. The difference between the little one and the other puppies was obvious. He was smaller, weaker, and his survival seemed uncertain. Faced with the dog's initial rejection, I had no choice but to hand feed him. I prepared a bottle with powdered milk and patiently gave the puppy his first sip of food. Seeing that little creature finally accept food was an indescribable relief. Every drop of milk he drank represented a new chance at life. But while the other puppies received the warmth and protection of their mother, the little one huddled in a corner, alone and vulnerable. He cried softly, as if he missed a mother he would never see again. Days passed, and I continued to feed the puppy with all the care I could. On the fifth day, something incredible happened. The dog finally began to accept Snowball, as I decided to call him, as part of her litter. Her maternal instincts awakened, and she began to treat him as if he were one of her own puppies. Seeing this little creature, who had been so lonely until then, find the comfort and love of a mother was a deeply moving experience. With each passing day, Snowball grew stronger. He began to gain weight, and his health improved visibly. By the 15th day, he was stronger, more playful, and had a voracious appetite. Now, it was impossible to separate him from his adoptive mother without her immediately following him, concerned for his well-being. She protected and cared for him with the same care she dedicated to her own puppies. Snowball had finally found a safe and loving home. A month later, I decided it was time to meet up with the sanitation worker again, the man whose gesture had started this whole journey. He had prepared something special for the little dog, a chicken leg. When we met, his eyes filled with surprise and joy when he saw the puppy he had saved. Snowball, who had previously been a frail and malnourished puppy, was now strong, round, and full of energy. The worker could not believe that this healthy and playful dog was the same one he had rescued from the trash can. The man stroked Snowball carefully, as if he wanted to remember every detail of that transformation. He held him, looked at him again and again, and his expression was one of pure amazement and happiness. The gratitude in his eyes was visible, and he kept praising me for taking such good care of the little dog. 
But the truth is that without his initial act of kindness, Snowball would never have had a chance at life. This worker, who dedicated his days to cleaning the streets, had shown that even when doing the hardest and most invisible work, his heart was of incomparable generosity. The mission he had entrusted to me was accomplished. I returned the ten yuan he had given me at the beginning, but what really mattered was what that money represented. The faith that, together, we had saved a life. With the transmission of love, Snowball had not only survived, but flourished. Today, he lives a happy life surrounded by care, and we will never forget the story of how a simple man, with his rough hands and a generous heart, gave this little puppy a second chance at life. The ending of this story is a powerful reminder that, even in the most difficult circumstances, human kindness can prevail. Snowball found the love and protection he so desperately needed, and I sincerely hope that he continues to grow up healthy and happy, always surrounded by people who love him. This puppy story teaches us that, amidst the hardships of life, acts of compassion can transform destinies and create stories of rebirth.